When Shah Tamas entered the throne at a young age, Persia was in a dire state. But despite of a weak economy, a civil war and wars being fought on two fronts, Tamas had managed to maintain his position as the Shah. During the first thirty years of his long reign, he had managed to suppress the internal divisions, slowly elevate the strength of the military to a level that finally led to the retreat of the Ottomans during the Fourth War in 1533, and, in 1553, even wage a campaign against the Ottomans. This resulted in the Peace Treaty of Amazur, a treaty that favored the Persians and secured Tabriz and the northwestern borders. Some years before, in 1528, he had also converted an unfavorable war against the Uzbeks, at the Battle of Jam, into a victory by the Persians. Starting with Tamas a new policy was created as well, namely the introduction of extremely large amounts of Caucasian elements into the Persian society, who would continue to play a crucial role in Persia's royal household, harem and in the civil and military administration. These Caucasian elements consisted of huge amounts of mostly Georgians, Circassians and Armenians, gained mostly by conquest and slave trade, like with the Ottomans. This policy would grow even more significantly under Tamas successors, most notably Shah Abbas I, and would last up to the Qajar dynasty. When Shah Tamas's throne was overtaken by his successor, Persia was in a calm state, with secure borders and cordial relations with the neighbors to both east and west. What remained unchanged? was the decentralized power structure of the government, and that would not change until the throne was overtaken by his grandson, Shabas. After the death of Tamasp in 984-1576, the struggle for a dominant position in the state flared up again and was complicated by rival groups and factions. Dominant political factions vied for power and support three different candidates. The mentally unstable is male. The son of Tamasp and the purblind Muhammad Qudabanda were some of the candidates but did not get the support of all the Kizilbash chiefs. The Turkmen Ustajlu tribe, one of the most powerful tribes among the Kizilbash, threw its support behind Haydar, who was of a Georgian mother, but the majority of the Kizilbash chiefs saw this as a threat to their own, Turkmen-dominated power. Instead, they first placed Ismail II on the throne. 1576 to 77 and after him Muhammad Shah Qudabanda 1578 to 88 in addition Tamas must be credited for the revival of the fine arts which flourished under his patronage and were brought to the pitch of perfection safe avid culture is often admired for the large scale city planning and architecture achievements made during the reign of later shahs but the arts of persian miniature book binding and calligraphy, in fact, never received as much attention as they did during his time.